Hello, in this video we're going to look at two types of reproduction. They are sexual and asexual reproduction, but the first slide deals with sexual reproduction. This can happen in both plants and in animals as well. So plants and animals. And a key feature of sexual reproduction is that we have the production of gametes. And you may remember that gametes are the sex cells. So in plants, the sex cells are pollen or pollen grains and egg cells. And in animals, it's egg cells and sperm cells. And these are produced by meiosis. And we looked at meiosis in detail in the last video. But meiosis produces these gametes. And because meiosis produces gametes, each of the gametes is genetically non-identical. The gametes are all non-identical. That means sexual reproduction can produce offspring with a variety. So how does this happen? Well, we've got pollen grains and egg cells. They can join together and that's called fusion, the fusion of the pollen and the egg, sometimes called fertilization. And this would eventually lead to the production of a seed and that seed would then go on to produce a new plant under the right, under the right conditions. In animal cells, very similar. We get egg cells joining with sperm cells. That would be called fusion or fertilization. And that would end up producing an embryo and that embryo can then go off to become a baby, not go off, but it will become a baby. We refer to new plants or new babies as offspring. So this is a key term we're gonna be using a bit more over the next videos. So the fact that we have gametes that are non-identical joining to produce new offspring, that means there's going to be variety in the offspring, a variety in the characteristics of the offspring produced. Variety in the offspring. So these are the key features of sexual reproduction. We can also look at what's called asexual reproduction, and that's slightly different. Asexual reproduction happens in some simple single-celled organisms, for example, bacteria, but it can also happen in some types of plant as well. And with asexual reproduction, it's different to sexual reproduction in that we only have one parent. We don't need two parents for asexual reproduction. One example that we can give is a strawberry plant. This is a type of plant that can produce asexually, as is a spider plant. A spider plant is quite a common plant in school laboratories, so you might have seen one at school. But the way this works is that we get the development of a runner, and at the end of the runner, a new plant is formed. So we have new roots, a new shoot and new leaves, and that becomes a new plant by itself and the runner will break down and disappear and we'll have a standalone new plant. And each of these new plants that are produced in this method are genetically identical because there has been no mixing of gametes from two different parents and these new plants are made not by meiosis but by mitosis which we've looked at uh, quite a few videos ago. And when we produce new plants by this method or in fact new individuals by asexual reproduction we say they are all clones and that just basically means they are genetically identical and there will be no variety in those new individuals and that's because we have no fusion of gametes in fact there are no gametes produced at all so we don't have fusion of gametes we just have mitosis producing new offspring okay so we can compare the two now just to make sure we get this under our belt on the left hand side we can do some points about asexual reproduction and on the right hand side sexual reproduction so what are the key features well for the first one for asexual reproduction we only have one parent we have no gametes formed and we have no mixing of genetic information only mitosis is, is involved and all of the offspring are clones there will be no variation in the offspring unless it's due to the environment for sexual reproduction we have two parents and we will have gametes formed, sperm cells or egg cells or pollen grains. The we will have the fusion of gametes, which means mix mixing of genetic information, and the gametes are produced by meiosis. That all leads to variety in the offspring. So there's the details of sexual and asexual reproduction, and on this page here, a, quite an important summary of the two processes. So that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.